Hey everybody, Dustin Schmidt here again, and today I'm going to show you a two camera full portrait kit with lighting and a single backpack. So let's get started. So I've done a video before on the Atlas Athlete Pack. I did an unboxing video and then I did a video where you could see an entire interview kit in a single backpack. And this is a little bit of a take on that second interview kit setup, except this is more photographic based. So I'm going to take the pack off, I'm going to unpack it, show you everything that's in it, and then show you how you might use this. On the outside of the pack, we've got a lot of different pockets here. We've got two side pockets that are really good for carrying things like tripod and light stands or umbrellas. On the front, we've just got a big stretchy pocket here. Now a lot of times I've seen people use this for uh, outerwear, jackets, things like that. In this case, I'm using it to hold a larger flash. This is a Godox AD200 Pro. And it's got an aftermarket um, additional disc on it right here. This reflector along with this diffuser. And what that does is give you a much more even beam of light than you would get out of the uh, normal flat flash head that comes on this. So. We'll put that to the side for a second. And the only reason I have this sitting on the outside, you wouldn't want to fly with it like that or bang it around a bunch, but let's say you're just going from point A to point B and you need to carry it, works perfectly fine. So flash goes over there. Over in this side pocket, we have collapsible small tripod. This is a Mi Photo. Let's see which one this is. Mi Photo Carbon Fiber Road Trip Tripod. Nice thing about this one, folds back on itself, becomes a very small little package. We're going to fold that out and we'll put this over to the side for now. Put that down there. That's just a big enough tripod that you can hold uh, a mirrorless body and maybe like a 24 to 70. Um, you wouldn't want to go, you know, super heavy on a tripod like that, but perfectly fine for smaller setups. On this side, we have a collapsible umbrella softbox. I'll pop that out and show you that, but this could easily just be a large shoot through or reflective umbrella. Put that down there. And then we've got a single lightweight Manfrotto 5001B um, double fold stand. So those are the outside pockets on the pack. We've now taken care of everything that is strapped and attached to the sides. Now here on the top, in this pouch, we have Mac charger and the umbrella holder and stand adapter for our Godox 8200. Now this is the big one. They actually make a smaller one. Um, this one I like because it's just a little more robust. Um, you know, if you want to, you can put soft boxes in this. You can see where it's got a bones mount on it. But honestly, if you're using this with an umbrella, like I am, they make a tiny little holder that's probably only about that big for this light. It's the one that comes with it and it mounts right here or here. And that would make this setup significantly smaller. I just prefer this larger one and I've got room, so that's what I'm going for now. On the inside of the pouch, I have a entire kit for a DJI Air 2S. Let's say you were traveling somewhere, um, you were gonna take some, some pictures of, you know, maybe some portraits of people, you wanted some extra light for that. Let's say you were gonna do aerials, you could also do that. Um, in some respects, this is almost a um, high-end kind of photojournalistic kit that you could go and shoot a lot of different stuff with um, to really tell a full story. You know, there's nothing like getting up some aerials and getting some of that stuff uh, to give people a sense of place and, you know, 
This is a full kit for that. I like to keep it in here rather than put it in the back here. The back's full of cameras and lenses because this fits perfectly in the top of this athlete, uh, Atlas Athlete Pack. And just to show you what's in here, that's a full DJI Air 2S um, controller, two extra batteries plus one in there, chargers, uh, filters, ND filters, um, kind of the whole thing. So everything you need to go out and fly for, you know, hour and a half or so. Just put that down there. Inside this top pouch, we've also got MacBook Pro. This will fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is just a 13 inch here. So I'll put that down there. Obviously you need something once you get there to be able to offload your cards, do things like that. And that's actually all I have in this top portion. This is the big sack portion of the Atlas Athlete Pack here. And there's more room in here actually. If you wanted to fill this out, you really could. You can see how that goes all the way up top and just has this little drawstring to take it down and close it off. So there's more room in here to pack stuff in. This is just all I have at the moment. All right, now we're gonna get into the camera kit here. I'll show you everything that you can fit here in the Atlas Athlete Pack. And now we've got our two camera kit plus lenses here in the Atlas Athlete Pack. They make two sizes of packs. One is called the Adventure Pack. It's a little deeper and a little bigger. The Athlete Pack is the smaller of those two. Um, but I'm gonna show you, you can still fit quite a bit of gear um, in this. So first thing I've gotten here is I've actually got a second flash. This is a little Godox uh, TT350. So this one's actually, I've, I also, uh, this is all Canon gear. Um, this is actually a Fuji flash because I don't have the Canon one, but they make a similar size one for Canon. And what that does is now you've got two flashes. So you've got a key light and then you've got some sort of background light or edge light or something like that, as well as having the ambient light with wherever you're photographing. So it's a pretty, pretty versatile kit in a very small package that you can do a lot with. So flash there. I've got trigger for the Godox flashes. This is their Godox X Pro C for Canon. Um, again, they make a version of this for basically every camera brand. And this allows you to set your, your flashes in the groups, control the power, all of that remotely just from the top of your camera, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, big fan of their stuff. In here we have a 70 to 200 F4. You know, not as, not as good in low light, not as fast as the 2.8, obviously, but a lot smaller. Um, and honestly, I find myself using this quite a bit, and I don't miss the 2.8 and, and the speed of that. So uh, image stabilized, um, same range, all that. So we've got a 24 to 70, 2.8, version 2. So now we've got 24 all the way to 200. So pretty much covering all your, your medium, you know, wide to long focal lengths. Um, I actually don't have a super wide in here, although I'll show you there's probably room for it. Um, I just don't shoot that wide that often. Here I've got a 50 millimeter F1.2. So great portrait lens if you were gonna do something like that um, and pretty small and lightweight. And then I've got a 35 millimeter 1.4 version two. So this lens is uh, also extremely fast. Um, you know, if you wanted to do portraits with this, this is also a great environmental kind of portraiture lens. So if you're more on the photojournalistic side, you're just trying to, to get coverage, you need the range, you need the zoom, um, you need that variability. You've got that right here. And if you wanted to go primes, um, and get something a little more, I guess, dramatic, a little more bokeh. Let's say you're doing weddings or something. Um, 35 and 50 is probably a little too close together, focal range wise for weddings. Um, you might want to swap out like the 50 for an 85 or something like that. Um, or you could go 35 and do the 70 to 200. So 
Got one battery charger with a can of battery. I've got the Canon adapter with the ND. Can't go wrong with that. If you want to shoot video, grab some video clips with some of your, uh, your Canon mirrorless, then you're going to need that. And I've got Canon EOS R with the regular control ring adapter. This one's built out with a cage that has a NATO rail. Um, shoe mount here if you want to put a little uh, microphone on it um, makes it a little better bigger but extends the functionality and not too big and then I've got a second Canon body right here just to show you that you can fit two in here now I don't have a second Canon USR or R5 mirrorless um, this is actually just a super old um, Canon Rebel but they're about the same size I just want to show you that basically you can get two bodies in here. Um, up here we've got a little extra pocket where you can throw in um, you know, little cable ties if you needed to to quickly try to mount a light somewhere to a, um, you know, a chair leg or something like that. You could try to do it with this. Little hot shoe, um, hot shoe flash shoe, so you, little stand so you can stand that up. Um, and then here you can put your extra batteries. I don't have any in here right now. I've actually just got a little uh, anchor card reader. But that would fit some extra LP6s here. So that's kind of a full, very extensive kit. We've got two camera bodies, four lenses, battery charger, two flashes, stand, tripod, flash trigger, and lighting, uh, you know, softbox or umbrella, all in a single backpack. Uh, so pretty amazing what you can fit in this and then what you're able to do with it. So that's a nice little breakdown of everything that'll fit in the Atlas Athlete Pack. A um, lot of different configurations you could do with this. Uh, let me know how you pack yours out, if you've got it, if you're using it, um, how you would do it a little bit differently. If you shoot weddings, if you're a photojournalist, um, you're an adventure photographer, what would you swap out in here? What are the camera bodies? What are the lenses you take? Um, and let me see your kit. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.